video I'm gonna show you how we can run our Oracle forms uh, so when so we have installed the form setup we have to run on uh, system for that we need JRE Java runtime environment so this is the most demanding comments on my video that I previously shown how to install Oracle forms so let's start that first of all we need Java runtime environment so Oracle form 14c basically need a, a Java 8 so we can uh, install any version of Java 8 So for Java 8 we have 8 update 421 here as the latest so I will uh, download for my Windows installer and I will uh, download this GRE 64 bit click here download it will ask you an account you can log in with any ordinary account So once we have Java GRE downloaded, we have to run that as administrator. We can change the destination of our folder as required. We can now run our forms. Oracle 14C has a complete new look, even in it's on a start screen. So let me start with this module one. We will save that in our default location which is a uh, record middleware Oracle home forms we will save a test form here and uh, let's put uh, canvas here by manually and on this canvas We will put a button okay so let me write some trigger on it first and, uh, for example an exit form Okay, we have to connect that. I have already created a test schema. I will connect my DB with that. So my form is uh, ready. This is a test form just 
and I'm now trying to run it I have to set my preferences here for so just uh, run it standalone and show the URL I will set these two parameter and uh, just run it so a complete look of Oracle 14c form start in my form you can further uh, make the development on this form but this is just test how to run it on client side or a server side client side mean that it's a development server 